Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan. drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind to me it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other so from cowboy territory now here's first and 10 at the 47 they go play action with lawrence and they're unable to connect but a late flag comes in and the contact may have come too early So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now Lawrence to throw. Touchdown! Christian Kirk ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Touchdown, Jaguars! Jamal Agnew, 75 yards. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and 10. From the shotgun, Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 18. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Lawrence. This is caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Bigsby will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, these defensive bats have been getting torched all game long. And finally, a small measure of revenge here. That time, the coverage downfield is excellent, and they're right there to battle for the football and force the incomplete pass. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now on fourth down, they throw the deep ball, but it winds up to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Boy, sitting on a two-score lead at this stage in the game. That punter, he must be pretty lonely over there on the sideline, thinking, why in the world was my number not called there? As far as he's concerned, the check will still cash, right? That's, it is your choice not true. to use me in this situation. But I also look at it this way. You know, some coaches more aggressive than others. They just want to take care of the football, have the ball on them. This offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. On first down, Lawrence. He's going to try and go deep again. And got his man complete. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 39 yards there, a big one. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. Lawrence, a short throw there to Strange. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and a couple. Lawrence. Dumping it off for Johnson. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll leave him with a third and two. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now they need two. Here's third down. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten yards there. Good enough for a Jags first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. And quickly, they get to the line. On second down, Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Jamal Agnew, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, he has... Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of... Back hurries, he's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, Hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, Applaud. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to get the football back as time will... Back now in Arlington. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game. The interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think a fight for it, and this is caught. What? It's a big play for... 